Good morning, fans of the Privateer FX. Monday morning here. Bit of a risk-off feel to the day, 19th of March. We got equities down a little bit. Traded, uh, traded down to, to 46. We got Euro probing Friday's lows which were 60. We've already printed a 58 low. We also have dollar yen, 25 points lower, just kind of easing off with this risk off sentiment. I think it all starts in dollar yen through 60. Um, and this looks like something interesting. You might be better off looking at euro yen than, than dollar yen. Because you've got to keep in mind that we have FOMC on Wednesday. So the dollar is going to get a bit of a pump when they raise rates. We might see some dollar buying going into that. But if you look at our friend the euro yen chart, obviously the range lows, the year's lows are 129.42. I'm sorry, 129.35, the range lows. Um, it would be nice if we get a touch down there, some sort of double bottom formation. And then you could probably momentum trade that through those lows. Or you can just be core short Euro Yen. We um, you know we sold this stuff up at the 13188 handle. We got square again. We were looking to get short again through 50, but we missed it on the Asian break. Friday, but 60's been the high, and the, sh and the downtrend looks pretty intact. We had a little bit of a gap open at, uh, at the open last night. The gap was filled, but now we've just cruised lower. It definitely does have a feel that 129.35 are in the sights, so there's two things you can do. You can wait for the print, or you can sell high ones today. Uh, but your stop has to be above 130.60. So keep that in mind uh, when you start playing. Cable, annoying. Can't really get through 140. Now it looks like we're going to roll over here. And so after sort of doji, small range, doji, this has got to go one way or the other, so now you have to keep an eye on both sides. 138.88, triple eight, looks pretty sweet. That's yesterday's low, and then of course, if we do see prices through 140, if there's news, uh, if there's a gold rush in, in the UK, God knows what the news is going to be. You want to check that out. Don't forget about 140, even though we're far away. That said, what else do we have out there? Dollar Czar is through. It's just kind of playing around here, and it looks like this will be sort of a typical. We're going to make a new high just before London gets in. There's going to be some sloppy stuff between sort of 11.98 and 12.08, but a daily close above 12.03 uh, is important for us. More important is a daily close above 12.20, but 12.03 looks like it's going to lead to 12.20. So we continue to like this dollar rand higher. And if you followed our uh, magical advice on Friday, czar yen, that looks pretty good. Uh, dollar cad making new highs, sort of on a risk off sentiment still. Dollar max still far away, but also big round number 1899, 19 the figure. This will be important in dollar max this week. And crude, let's see what crude is doing. 6209. We are watching $60 very closely, obviously, still 2% away, but a break in 60. Um, this would be negative for the euro, deflation. Uh, and this will just be kind of the big medium term bull bear line for oil. And, you know, let's be honest, it's fun selling oil. Everyone hates oil. So keep that one in mind, put it in the book, and look forward to selling 
oil through 60. All right, I'll leave it at that. As I said, we're just mildly risk off today. Uh, we're either going to sell high ones, euro yen, or we're looking for that print down below. And we'll be looking at euro dollar also downside. I'll just pull that up quickly. Uh, it looks to me that this 121.58 is going to trade this week. Makes sense going into FOMC. The U.S. is going to raise rates. Um, so, trying to get short here, maybe through 50. Maybe just sell a high one with a 123.15 stop. It's not super clear what the best way to do this is, but I think this is on a move to 121. 58 and then further down so this is on our mind this is what we'll be doing i wish you luck and i will see you at the new york open ciao